Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. Um, now, this wine I've had before, and uh, of, of the three wines we've done this week, this is the cheapest. And uh, I do remember liking it. I, remember, I actually remember liking it, especially for that it was such a cheap price. Um, but nobody else seemed to have really cared as much for it. But I, I liked it. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's get on to it. This is uh, non-vintage, the uh, Morellino, I'm sorry, the Poggio Brigante Morellino di Scansano. Um, I'm sorry, 2006, it has a vintage. The other one didn't have a vintage. Um, and uh, this comes from the uh, Tuscany region of Italy. <clears throat> and Morellino is actually the local name for um, Sangiovese. So it's Sangiovese grape. Uh, it's just that in that part of Italy, they call it Morellino. And uh, Scansano is, um, or that's the uh, DOC. Da, 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 da. I got a lot of extra notes on there just when I was doing my research. So uh, let's check it out. I remember liking it. It was $5.44 at HEB Plus. So we're talking pretty cheap wine here for inexpensive. All right, so first thing I got, which I, I don't remember getting, that was kind of a, a chocolatey aroma off the off the nose. Not like sugary sweet chocolate, like a like a powder. And some spiciness. Um, it makes me think of sausage. Seriously, you know, like a, a spiciness. It totally makes me think of spaghetti sauce. Out, just, just right there. That's what it makes me think of. So kind of, not not sweet, but it's got the, the kind of a tomato meat type of uh, aroma to it. And there's a little bit of sweetness to it. A little bit of sweetness. So let's check it out. Of the wines we've done this week, I, I, this is my style. This is totally my style. The other two weren't bad, and as a matter of fact, you know, I gave you this in '89. So anyway, um, yeah, it's it's. I feel like I should be eating pasta with it. It's got. Um, it's got some spiciness to it, which I'm not really expecting from a San Giovese, but it's got a little spiciness to it. It's got a little, getting kind of like a, a so I'm actually getting a little bit of a floral uh, quality out of it. Um, and, and I think it really just reminds me of, of having anything that's a tomato based sauce. So uh, a spaghetti sauce, uh, a barbecue sauce, uh, something like that. Got a little bit of fruit in there, um, not a lot. Uh, it's, so <clears throat> it's got some tannins. Nothing really bad. It doesn't really dry out the mouth. And um, I mean, I, I really like it. I, I, this is really more my style. Really, is more my style of, of a wine. Um, I'm totally going to give it an 89. I, I think it's. I think it's. You know, it, it appeals to me. Now, whether it appeals to you or not, I have no idea. But I, I like it, and I think it's a great buy. Um, for under six dollars, you can't go wrong with it. Um, so this is a 100% Sangiovese. Uh, they age it for six months in stainless steel, um, and uh, the the Mor Morleno di Scansano is now a DOCG, which is a, the next level up. You have DOC in Italy, you have DOCG. So um, it's just uh, a next level up. But was they didn't do it till 2007, so the year after this came out. And Scansano is in the the, Mar the Marama part of southwestern Tuscany. So to kind of give you an idea where it is, you know, where Tuscany is, it's kind of the southwestern part of it. Um, 
Yeah, I'd totally get it again. I mean, we bought two bottles because it was really cheap. Had it with, with dinner. Uh, kind of reminded me of the dinner a little bit. So, you know, that's one of the things I think, you know, I had a great time with that. I had a good dinner with it. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. So I, I totally recommend it. If, you're, if you like San Giovese, I say get it. Um, what else? As always, uh, click the links, you know, friend me up. Uh, subscribe to iTunes. You know, we got the podcast going, got comments going on. I do try to read them. Well, I do read them. What, what, what little comments are actually done. I mean, no one's really doing many comments. Got a couple every once in a while. But uh, when you do put them in there, I do see them. Um, and I try to reply to them. Uh, I do reply to them, but you know, I try to reply to them as fast as I, as fast as I can as far as when they get posted. And, um, yeah, hit me up on Twitter. Hey, I crossed 3,000 followers the other day, but then I took out, took out about 200 of them because they're all spam. So let's get some real followers. That's it. We'll see everybody again next week.